Hey everybody, uh, Joe Getz here, Cannon, uh, Cannonball. Uh, wanted to talk to you about some digging stuff, all right? So, I see a lot of people, they're like, oh, I dug this crappy iron such and such, or they throw all their shell frags and grape shot in a bucket, and they're happy with that. And, and look, um, that is uh, perfectly acceptable. They're your relics. You can do what you want. I am very, very excited about everything I find, uh, aside from the junk. Um, and I take the time to restore virtually every piece of iron. And I wanted to show you what happens and what you can get out of some of these pieces when you take the time to run them through an electrolysis, clean them off, refresh them, and then cover them with... I use Gemplers on most of these other iron pieces because it makes them black and it um, they look good and I don't have to boil them in wax and they turn out alright. So I got one, two, three, four, five, about ten items here that I restored and I'm going to kind of showcase them. Move this back a little bit, get better light. So first item showed it in another video this is a fragment of a hundred pound shinkle now when I found it you couldn't see any of these lines couldn't see any of this it was all in a, in a rust cocoon when I cleaned it up I just I mean I just really think that that piece is really awesome really turned out beautiful um, Maybe, maybe, you know, just me. Still shedding rust <laughs> a little bit. Um, come out of South Carolina and that salt water just destabilizes them. So here's just the shell frag, right? You see buckets of these for sale. But I think that looks really good. And it's a nicer little display piece to accent your other really good relics. So, um, another example. Here's the base of a small shinkle. Now, if you look at it, now you can see the lines. <coughs> Excuse me and the base and I just think it turned out to be a nice little piece too here's a piece of a parrot a small parrot a camp axe that everybody throws against the tree I can tell you that now that this is stabilized I bet I mean it's sharp as can be I bet I could sharpen this, put a handle on it, and reuse it if I wanted to. But that's a Civil War camp axe. I think it's cool. I've got tons of them. But I just throw them in the electrolysis when I'm doing other stuff and restore them. And, you know, they, I think they turn out nice. Another part of the 100-pound shinkle. Again... If I just threw this in a in a bucket and said it's another shell frag, might not have ever even known that it was a hundred pound shinkle instead of a hundred pound parrot. Um, here's a parrot shell piece. That's where I ran the electrolysis through. I haven't filled it in. I think it turned out nice, but look at this. Look at the fuse chamber and the bursting chamber right here. Tell me that's not cool. You'd never get that kind of detail if you didn't take the time to restore it and preserve it. So I, again, there's value to that. A lot of people go, oh, I got a million buckles. Well, this is a cool buckle. And it was totally in rusted cocoon. And now, after electrolysis, it actually works. 
And again, it's just a nice little display piece. It's horse tack from the Civil War that goes in a you know, cavalry display and looks a lot nicer than some rusty buckle that's flaking all over your display case. Here's a trace chain from a Canon US. Ran it through electrolysis. And if you look there, see the US? Now you can see the U.S. in it. I couldn't get it to break free. I uh, didn't want to play with it too much. But. Now it's restored. Turned out nice. I think they call it a Whipple. Might be a Whipple. So everybody talks about grape shot. I dug a million grape shot. I dug a million canisters. Well good and they throw it in a bucket and it just deteriorates into nothing they flake and they rust and they look like this crusty ball and as a matter of fact when you don't restore them you can see here they're they're all I ended up putting converter on it Geplers on it to keep it from deteriorating even more because it just was falling apart so that's one that that I didn't restore in time but look at this one. Look at the mold seam on that. Isn't that cool? That detail doesn't come out if you don't take the time to restore it. Here's another one where you can see where the, the sprue was. I mean, no doubt... I know for a fact that this is Confederate and the reason I know it's Confederate is because it was found where the Union were just decimated at a battle that I used to hunt before the Park Service bought it. And here's a couple more. You know, I think they just turn out nice when you take the time to restore them. They make a nice display piece as opposed to just a crusty ball. And I think that it's just pretty cool. So I just wanted to share that pile of iron with you guys and show you what things can look like if you take a little bit of time a Saturday afternoon to run them through an electrolysis bath and cover them and the difference of a display it can make compared to just a big ball of rusty flaking iron. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.